Alright. Here we are. Some crows. <laughs> Into our sight. This is C-37, C-38. They share a driveway here. And this is 38 on the left. Not much of a sight, really. Lots of crows and vultures around. Let's show 38. Down to the water here, which is normally a cliff, but because of the hurricane, the water's right up here. So, well, that's 38. And this is 37. Crows woke us up. There's Maxine. This is pretty level sight. Not off by too much. And there's a big area here. You can definitely put a tent. And there's the kayaks. We didn't use them because the water level was so high. We didn't really have a spot to put out. But this has a great sunset view. The sunset's right over there. The biggest downside is it's right next to the boat launch. There's lots of activities here. But this, the water is not normally here. It goes all the way out. And this is a big cliff. Lots of crows. Yeah, so this water is as high as I've ever seen it. Again, this is all normally dry, and there's a big cliff. Whoa, there's about a thousand mosquitoes over here. All right, time to go back this way. Oof. So when we came <clears throat> last night, and yesterday afternoon, the water was higher. I'll show you what we had. This is a nice path down. I think there's some maintenance going on. We'll see that. But this spot here yesterday was completely underwater, which it normally is dry. And there's a good sized cliff here. So we didn't really, we didn't know how deep it was here and we couldn't really finagle a way to safely launch here. Yeah, this is 37. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Walk back. There's poison ivy here and there, but not too bad. So yeah, pop the point. C37. Pretty good sight like to find out if it's going to be good for kayaking when the water recedes, but that's it. 37, 38, 39, and 40 are over there. And we're going to go and do walk around and do a little bit of those two sites and then see what else we have.